Hey guys, today I'm going to be talking a little bit about container items. Um, I'm going to take you through how to add container items and sort of how they work and how you can change their settings. So basically container items are items that can contain other items. So as an example, um, our backpack here is uh, it's an equipment, so it can be worn by the character, but it's also a container. So you can see I can select an open option here to look up, uh, look in its inventory and we can open it up and see what's in its inventory. Now, currently there's nothing in there, um, but if I were to uh, pick up this magazine, for example, open it up, I'd be able to place these items uh, into the backpack. You'd see its weight has updated as well. Um, and if I was to um, pick it up, oh, I don't have enough space, but if I was to equip it, you can see I have those um, items there. So. Um, there's quite a few different settings for the container items, so I'm just going to take you through those uh, now. So um, we'll start in the item list, so you can just search for item list, or it's um, found in the uh, blueprints items folder. You want to use the item list here. So I'll just bring this over to this screen, and you can see we've got a full list of all of our different items. Um, I'm just going to be focusing on our backpack item, item for now. Um, just so I can explain some of the settings. So um, we'll select our mega backpack because that was the one we were uh, just using. So um, I'll have a separate video that goes through all of these settings a little bit more uh, in detail. But you can see we've got all of all our um, basic information. But what we're gonna focus on in this video is conta container details. So I'll click that and you can see all of our different um, information. So first one is pretty simple, can it contain items? If this is true, um, the system knows that it wants to, that we want to load up uh, this information. Next we've got our container name, so this is the name uh, that comes up on the little window when we um, open up our backpack, so it says backpack. Um, we've got inventory cells, so this is how many inventory slots the backpack will have. Inventory columns, so this is how many um, slots wide the inventory will be. Um, these settings are only used if you're not using a custom grid layout. I'll go into a little bit more detail on that in a minute. But if you're not using a custom grid layout, uh, these are the values that are used. Um, use weight, again, pretty self-explanatory. If it's true, we uh, use the weight system and max weight is how much weight the uh, container can store. Next we've got restriction type which is really useful for things like uh, magazines for weapons because those are containers as well. Um, we can set it to allow items or disallow items um, and then we have restricted items um, here. This is actually set to just none so we can clear that but if I was to say set this to allowed items then only items inside the uh, set inside this restricted items uh, array um, will be allowed in this um, in, in this container sorry um, so if I was to set this to uh, we'll scroll down to our master item list and if I click this you can now see we've got all of the items to choose from if I was to choose um, say nine millimeter ammo only nine millimeter bullets will be able to be stored in this backpack now um, and if I was to change this to disallow items any item in the game can be stored in this backpack now, apart from 9mm ammo. So that's super useful. Um, next we've got container type. Um, for the most part, most items will just use container. If you're using a magazine, you'll want to set this to magazine. Um, but this is just a backpack, so we'll leave this as container. Um, allow container window. Um, this is basically if uh, you double click on the item when it's stored in your inventory the little window will pop open so you can see what's inside it. Um, if this is true, that allows that. Um, use item count limit. Again, this is more of a feature for magazines, but um, you can basically set it so that only a certain number of items are allowed inside the container item. Um, so if this were a magazine, I could set this to true and say set this to 30, and then only 30 uh, bullets would be allowed into the magazine. Um, but we'll leave this off for now because we're not uh, using that. Custom grid layouts are, um, are how um, the grid is laid out. So um, 
to show you an example, um, when I hit play, you can see that if I um, open up this inventory, um, we've got this um, sort of custom layout where it's not all uh, one block of uh, slots, it's been split up. Um, and this is a custom grid layout. Um, you can find all of the custom grid layout widgets in the uh, widgets folder, then custom inventory layouts, and you can go through and look through uh, the different layouts. So if I was to open two, you can see this one has four slots and then two slots. Um, or if I was to open, uh, say, 12, you can see this is uh, three groups of four slots. Um, I will have a different video on how to create your own uh, custom inventory layouts. Um, for this video, um, I'm just focusing more on the container details, um, but that video will go much more into depth into these. Um, but for, just for this video, um, if you want your container to use one of those um, custom grids, you can just um, select which grid you want it to use. So if I was to decide I wanted to use uh, number four instead now, I just select number four, I can hit play, open it up, and just like that, we're using now the number four custom grid uh, layout. Um, yeah, so again, there'll be a separate video for custom grid layouts that you can watch and I'll explain a lot more about them, um, but that's pretty much that. Um, again, if you're using the custom grid layout, these settings, the cell and column numbers are not going to be used, they'll be ignored. Um, but if you don't wanna use a custom grid layout, you can just uh, click this uh, drop down, hit clear, and now um, our backpack will use these uh, values instead. So I'll quickly show you, oh, I forgot to exit. Jump back in, if I hit open, you can see now it's just one big block of inventory slots. It's not using a custom layout at all. Um, and uh, we, can, we can equip it and pick up items and they'll all just work. Okay, so the last setting we've got to go through is the starting items. So you can find that in the bottom here underneath uh, the custom grid layout. Um, here you can set um, items that the container will start with. So uh, you just click the plus and you can click these drop downs. Uh, for the data table, you want to make sure you're using the master item list. Once you've done that, you can select row name and you can select uh, from any item you want. Um, I'm just going to use the, um, let's use Apple. So I've got it set to spawn one Apple uh, on start. Um, if I want to add more items, I can just hit uh, the plus button and I can add uh, more if I want. But just for the sake of the video, I'll just have the Apple. So I'll hit play and uh, we can open up our backpack. You can see we've got our Apple there as well. So um, that's pretty much it for container items. Um, a few things uh, you might wanna know is, um, if I equip this quickly, you can store items in um, backpacks while they're inside uh, the player's inventory. So I can drop this apple into the backpack and it will uh, be in there. Uh, this is another custom grid layout if you're wondering. Um, but yeah, I can pick up things and I can store them uh, inside this backpack while uh, they are still, while it's still in the inventory. If I drop this, uh, you can see, you know, I've got my, uh, I am still in the backpack that's on the floor. Um, one thing to remember is if you have um, storage, um, sorry, container items um, inside um, a container, its weight will be deducted from the container's weight as well. So what I mean by that is if I uh, pick up this big backpack and open it, you can see that its weight is at uh, 0 0.1. But if I drag in and drop this in, its weight's gone up to five because this backpack has items in it that contain, um, that weigh uh, 3.1, plus the backpack itself uh, weighs two. So that's gonna add up and total the, the weight plus then we're inside our backpack we're wearing. So that's gonna total up to 8.2 kilograms because of all of the items. All of those are stored inside this backpack. So hopefully that gave you a quick overview of um, how container items work. Um, 
one quick thing is some people might not like this where you can store backpacks inside of other backpacks. Um, again, you can use the restricted um, items option to make it so backpacks can't be stored inside of each other um, just in case that's something you didn't want to do. Um, so just a quick sort of tip there. Um, yeah, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. Um, don't forget to subscribe and uh, thank you for watching.